Hi, I'm Mitchell Nisley. I'm an associate professor at the Duke University School of Nursing. I thought it was a, a unique opportunity um, to grow my leadership skills and to advance my program of research to promote the equitable care for people living with pain. I think at this point of my career, it's a pivotal time to reflect on my own leadership skills, get additional training in um, innovation and um, expand my network. Not many opportunities provide the time for your own growth as a, as a leader and as a scientist. Many other funding opportunities, you have a job to do in a limited amount of time. I have been so impressed by my fellow cohort members. They are accomplished leaders um, and they all come from diverse institutions and backgrounds. And they have really provided a lot of great insight and feedback to allow me to think of my work in a different way. Um, I also think they're amazing people and what their mission as individuals and as scientists are, are inspiring. I would also say that the program leadership and staff is equally as impressive. It's clear a lot of thought and organization went into developing this curriculum. And, and in the few short months that I have been involved, I have you know, gained a lot of new insights and reflections on my own role as a leader and scientist. I have been trained as a behavioral scientist and also have advanced training in molecular genomics. So I bring in this biological and behavioral lens to tackling um, the problem of how we advance pain care for individuals living with chronic pain. And so pain itself is very complex. And so I'm able to blend or or to better understand the complexities of the behaviors as well as the biological contributors and psychosocial contributors and how that influence um, pain experiences so that we can design interventions or implement solutions that address these complex um, characteristics that are around the pain experience. And I would also say, you know, not unique to me, but I think this is a reflection of the holistic lens that the nurse provides in advancing health care for our society. This fellowship provides that protective time to, to focus on developing my leader skill, leadership skills further. Um, I think it uh, also enables me to network with colleagues who I may not always um, had the opportunity to network or, and, you know, I think about from the national mentor standpoint, getting skills in the health policy arena. So how do I translate the work that I'm doing in my, my program or research to influence policy on both the local and the national level? So I'm hoping that this fellowship will advance um, my skills, but also my program or research to be more in impactful um, than it was before. My mission in life is to make sure that everyone has equitable care to to pain treatments. And we know that people living in rural areas are disproportionately affected by chronic pain and pain in general. However, they don't have the access that people say, per se, in urban areas or suburban areas do to non-pharmacological treatments. So this project is, is understanding and testing the implementation of a complementary integrative um, therapy, acupuncture, for the treatment of chronic pain in rural North Carolina. And part of this project is to understand the, um, the community needs, as well as taking those community uh, needs and, and input we gain from key informants, healthcare providers in these rural areas, as well as people living with chronic pain, to develop an implementation blueprint to, for a group or community acupuncture clinic um, for the treatment. We know that acupuncture is evidence-based treatment 
for pain. Um, however, it hasn't been broadly implemented in rural areas. So if we can show that that acupuncture improves pain outcomes that um, at a reduced cost of others and reduced risk, especially as we think about the opioid epidemic, um, that we can um, have insurance payers uh, cover acupuncture, these types of interventions um, more broadly. I think we can do it.